Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of Age of Empires 2 stats that exist but do not matter. Small shout out to John Boy, makes baseball videos. I think I gave a shout out in previous episodes, but I kind of got this idea from him and geez, am I really watching baseball again? I must be getting old. Anyways, this video, much like my previous Age of Empires 2 stats video that focuses on a player's name, focuses on a Chinese player named Paladin. Paladin was once the leader or the team captain, per se, for the Chinese team formerly known as SY, now known as WWP. And to my knowledge, he, much like me, also was a caster. So he would play and help his team prepare. He was, he was the old man in the room, the coach, but he also did a fair amount of casting for those who would watch him cast uh, in Chinese. He comes in at number 36 in all times earnings in Age of Empires 2, uh, which is pretty crazy. And he hasn't been as dominant and quite as well known over recent years. So you guys might not know this player too much. But if you look in the past, you would find an account named Feng Jin. Uh, that was how he would play. But everyone always called him Paladin. I think his best years were probably uh, 2015 through 2017. Uh, you can see an interview here where he's being interviewed in China by my friend Nili in 2016. Uh, again, always on the team, always helping them prepare and always a big part of what is basically a big family of the Chinese players. This player plays a lot of Age of Empires still, and also has played in a lot of tournaments. But it feels like every single time I see him play in tournaments, he's always playing the archer role, which has always been very comical to me, because his name is Paladin, which is very clearly not an archer. So I decided to look at some of the data and see how frequently he plays with Paladin Civs and all the data associated with it. So here we go. In 1v1s, he has 1,122 games played. 547 of them are as a Paladin Civ. And keep in mind, this includes weaker Paladin civilizations like Celts and Byzantines, etc. That is 48.8% of his games played. So that's about 50-50. 322 wins have come in out of the 547 that he played as a Paladin Civ, which is 58.9%. 325 wins out of 573 non-Paladin games gives him a win rate of 56.7% without Paladin. So clearly, Paladin makes a little bit of a difference. Now in team games, which he plays the most of, he has 5,964 games played. 1,860 of them have come in with a Paladin Civ, which is way lower at 31.2%. This is precisely what I had felt watching him as a player, right? He tends to play the archer role, most likely. And there might even be instances where he's playing with, let's say, Byzantines a lot, which is technically a Paladin Civ. But is he actually playing Paladins? I, I doubt it. This may only be the case because it is less games. However, what's interesting is out of the 1,860 games he has, playing as a Paladin Civ in team games, 1,100 of those are wins, which is 59.6%. Out of the other games, he has 2,289 wins out of 4,100 games as non-Paladin, which gives him a win rate of 35.8%. When you combine it all, you have a lot of games, and you have stats which show that his win rate is essentially the same, whether he's playing with a Paladin Civ or without a Paladin Civ. But at least in team games, if I were to consider him a team game specialist, it is interesting to me that it's only a 35.8% without Paladin when he's named Paladin. It's tricky, right? Like we're cherry picking a lot of data, which is why these stats really don't matter. We don't know if it was pick Civ, random Civ, who is teamed with, whatever. But apparently, some of the data suggests he should play with Paladin Civs more, or some of the data suggests he should play with Paladin Civs less, so I guess he should just continue doing what he's doing. If you want the full Civ data, we have this little chart here. Uh, it shows the win rates, and it shows how many times certain Civs were played as and whatnot. Um, included in this, is, in team games, is actually some civilizations I've never seen in the game before. I'm going to assume the Tufans, Jurkins, and Balts are from some type of scenario, but uh, I don't know if they have Paladin, but if they do, he's certainly looking good with those. Uh, well played, man. Anyways, this is it for this AW2 stats video. That does not matter. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this one. I think I have officially run out of players that are named after a color or a unit, though, with episode number three being a focus on the player yellow. 
and episode number four now being a focus on the player paladin uh there's plenty of crazy things i want to bring to you guys with the series but as always uh, if you could find time to just click the like button so i know that you appreciated this that always goes a long way motivates me to make more and of course give me some ideas in the comments because i'd love to see it I'm going to try and get a comment from Paladin and see if I could maybe put that on your screen at this point. But if no screenshots show up on your screen right now, I'm going to have Hardy edit in some weird, embarrassing moment from my past in Age of Empires 2 instead. That way you guys will be entertained. Uh, it would be funny, though, to me if Paladin would give a comment. My guess is he doesn't really give a crap. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I will see you in the next one and hope you enjoyed.